Okay, so without using a calculator, a piece of paper, pen, or pencil, can you do this simple math problem in your head? Well, of course, you need to know uh, something about basic mathematics because we have a decimal and a fraction. But uh, hopefully, your arithmetic is pretty strong. But even more important, do you have the mental capacity, the focus, to figure this out? Okay, this is not that complicated. And uh, I suspect that a lot of you can do this, but you're going to have to focus. And the whole purpose of this exercise is really to kind of work on our mental math abilities and just to kind of keep our uh, brain sharp. All right, so the problem is 0.4 divided by one thirds. Uh, take your time with the problem. There's no rush, no time limit here, but if you could figure this out, okay, again, the only rules is no calculator, no pen, uh, paper. You're not writing this down. You're doing this all inside of your head. But uh, if you have your answer, go ahead and put that into the comment section. I'll show you the right answer in just one second, and then we'll walk through what I believe is kind of uh, the steps that your brain wants to kind of take, or at least my brain, the way it would work to figure this out. But uh, anyways, again, this is a creative process. The way I do this problem could be different than the way you do the problem. The bottom line is, can you get this right? But uh, before we get started, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John, and I have been teaching middle and high school math for decades. And it really is my true passion to really try to make uh, learning math as easy as possible. So if you need assistance in mathematics, check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if you like this video, if you enjoy this, or if it helps you out in some way, don't forget to like and subscribe as that definitely helps me out. Okay, so 0.4 divided by one third. Let's go ahead and take a look at the answer. Matter of fact, I will accept any of these answers as being correct. Okay. Now, ideally, I think most of you hopefully may have uh, hopefully got this answer, 6 over 5. Uh, there's even another way we could uh, write this. You could write this as a mixed number fraction. But if you got to this point, 12 over 10, I'm going to give you full credit. Uh, this is even better. And if you did this as a decimal, 1.2, that's even uh, amazing as well. So any of these answers I would consider uh, you know, correct, meaning that, hey, your brain uh, function is looking pretty good there. And we must celebrate by giving you a nice little happy face and A plus a 100% and multiple stars. So you can tell your friends and family that indeed you have been eating your Wheaties. Uh, your brain has been very strong. But listen, here's the thing. Uh, even if you didn't get this right, uh, this is just like an exercise. This is like uh, you know going to the gym and maybe you can't uh, lift 50 pounds or whatever the case is. Well, you know, you start with 25 pounds or whatever you know you need to start with to kind of build yourself up. But if you don't practice doing some uh, calculations using mental mathematics, you know, uh, you will get kind of weak in this area. And this is important, right? There's gonna be times where you have to do some quick, fast calculations in your brain. And if you don't practice this stuff, you're not going to get better with it. So uh, please don't be discouraged if you didn't uh, figure this out. Uh, and matter of fact, I'm going to go ahead and explain it. And I'm gonna explain this uh, kind of the way I would uh, imagine my brain to be thinking. So. Here's the problem. We have 0.4 divided by one third. So I have a, a decimal here, right? So I have a decimal and I have a fraction. So in my mind's eye, of course, you know, I'm a math guy. Uh, you know, I could, you know, figure out what's the easiest way to do this, but you have to make a decision. Remember, there's no time limit on this exercise, but you have to make a decision whether you're going to work in all decimals or all fractions. Now, I'm going to encourage you that uh, if you have um, a fraction, and you can convert your decimal to a fraction, typically that's gonna be the easiest way. Not always, but uh, you know, um, this fraction here, one third, we could write as a decimal, okay? But that's more than the decimal point three, okay? You'd have to go, go on, that's point three repeating. So this is not going to be a, say, an accurate uh, representation. So I'm like, oh boy, I'm gonna have all these threes here, point three through three. Now, if you don't understand what I'm talking about, you can take one, and divided by three in your calculator, you'll see exactly what I'm talking about uh, in terms of all these threes here. So I'm going to say, man, nah, decimals are not good. I'm going to work uh, in fractions. So hopefully, uh, here is me, okay, or maybe some of you out there, this is my uh, poor artistic skills of someone thinking. 
But uh, here I'm saying, all right, I'm going to work in fractions. So I have to uh, look at this decimal and write it as a fraction. So uh, my brain is just taking one little step at a time. Okay, so 0.4 is the same thing as what? Well, that's four tenths, right? So of course you have to understand place value and how to write a decimal as a fraction. By the way, if you need help with basic arithmetic, basic mathematics, check out my Math Foundation mini course. Uh, uh, I'll leave a link to it in the description below, but it's an excellent um, review of basic math if you're not getting any of these concepts here. Okay, so 0.4, I guess in my brain, I'm like, all right, I'm, uh, I'm just kind of concentrating on this. I'm like, all right, I'm gonna uh, scratch this 0.4 and I'm gonna think of it as four tenths, okay? At least it's the way I'd imagine my brain to be working. So I'm all right, I'm gonna lock this in four tenths. Now I'm thinking of this problem as four tenths divided by one third, right? So I'm just really, you know, using a lot of focus here. So four tenths divided by one third. So this is what my brain is thinking or I'm seeing the problem. And now I'm saying, all right, uh, I have a fraction and I'm dividing it by another fraction. So I have to think here for a second, how do I divide fractions, right? So for a second, I've got to have to review that. So I have to pull that up in my memory bank and be like, all right, how do I divide fractions? And hopefully you remember what we're going to do to divide fractions is you're going to change uh, this to multiplication by flipping this fraction upside down, right? So for the time being, you're going to forget about this four tenths in your brain, and you're just going to be saying to yourself, all right, uh, to divide fractions, I got to go from, uh, uh, from division to multiplication by fl flipping the fraction to the right of the division operator upside down. So one over three, let's write it this way, one over three is going to become three over one or just three, right? So now I'm saying, all right, now let me go back to this again. So I don't want to uh, forget that uh, point 0.4. That's four tenths, and this is going to be four tenths times uh, three over one or three. So now I'm just thinking, all right, four tenths times three over one or three. So I'm kind of locking that in. And now, okay, hopefully my brain is, you know, not running out of its battery charge. And I'm saying, all right, four tenths times three over one. So how do I do that? So now I have to stop and think about how to multiply fractions. Okay, so how do I multiply fractions again? Oh yes, I have to multiply the respective numerators and denominators. And I'm just kind of holding these fractions in my brain. Four tenths, three over one. Uh, so this is gonna be, you know, uh, four times three, that's 12 uh, over 10 times one. Uh, that is going to be 10. So 12 over 10. So I'm just remembering that 12 over 10. I'm kind of keeping that in my brain. Um, I can tell you right now, uh, you know, our brains focus. You can, I have learned and memorized, uh, just like you have, so many trivial, you know, things by using just rote memorization, right? Pure, you know, mental uh, willpower. You know, especially being in the military, I could remember things 40 years ago that I learned in the Marine Corps, uh, well, nearly 40 years ago, and it's just stuck in my brain because it's drilled over and over and over again. And the thing about your brain is, you, you know, you have to focus. You got to just be in a complete state of no distraction, and you just got to be thinking. Okay, and you could just concentrate on this. It's really going to help. Uh, you know, your brain, uh, uh, you know, function, if you will, right? So anyway, so now you're thinking, all right, 4 over 10 times 3 over 1. I'm thinking, uh, let's say 12 over 10. Does this make sense? You kind of run it through your brain. So at this point, everything's looking pretty good, and we're going to finish this up. But first, we have to break our concentration because I have to ask you to please subscribe to my channel. This really helps me out uh, grow my uh, virtual classroom, if you will. And if you're going to do that, make sure to hit that notification button. Again, you know, my objective is to reach as many people as possible. All right. So thank you so much. I don't really want to uh, talk too much more about my channel because I want to get back to our brain and our concentration here. All right. So here we have four over 10 times three over one. So I'm like, all right, I'm holding this in my brain. Uh, so I have uh, 12 over 10. Now at this point, some of you might be saying, well, don't, I think I can reduce this fraction. Uh, but even if you stopped right here, I would give you uh, credit, okay? I think you did a great job if you got to this point, 12 over 10. So, you know, you think about it, what did we do? Well, we went from a decimal, okay, to a fraction. That was one thing 
that we had to uh, hold in our uh, brain. Then we had to think about how to divide fractions. Okay, so we had to think about that. And then we uh, uh, turned that situation into multiplication of fractions, and then we actually did the work. So we kind of did four steps here. Now they're not complicated steps, but you know our brain is just kind of just going one tiny little step at a time. Okay. All right. So at this point, you could choose to reduce. That would be obviously the ideal thing because we can simplify this fraction. So 12 over 10, uh, 2 goes into 12, 6, 2 goes into 5, or 10, excuse me, 5. So this would be great. Some of you might say, well, uh, 12 divided by 10, if you're good with decimals, that's the same thing as 1.2. But uh, any way you slice it, I think at the end of this, if you got this right, you could say, you know what, my brain is still pretty sharp, okay? And you can keep your brain sharp, but you know, you gotta uh, do, you know, brain exercises, right? Now, the whole purpose of this video is, I think, partially math and just partially uh, encouragement uh, to do some mental mathematics. Okay, now when you're actually doing uh, math, you know, a math course or anything else like that, yes, indeed, you want to use a piece of paper and pencil. We don't want to torture ourselves and, of course, even a calculator. But there's going to come uh, plenty of times where you need to be able to do quick, fast calculations. And if you don't practice this stuff, you know, you're not going to get better at it. Uh, you know, this kind of reminds me of um, uh, some of those folks that, you know, you like to play card games or things like that. Those are all very good as well. Dominoes, uh, Sudoku, things like that. You know, that can really uh, help your mental function. Okay. But hey, listen, if you didn't get this right, don't panic because you may have forgot the mathematics involved. Right. So either way, here's the thing I want to encourage you to practice your mental math skills at this. You know, this is really important for your long term brain uh, function as well. Okay, so with all that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.